Yes, Tommy, on, boy. Yes, Tommy. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton, and today we're doing some micro fishing. It's going to be fun, and I'm fishing with these hooligans over there. Nice shot, Tom. Kicking a doggy toy. And we're at Horse Corp Dam. And we're going to catch some bass. For fun. Because it's fun. And on the bass, on the on Horse Corp Dam. <laughs> on Horse Corp Dam, we've currently got the small boat championship happening. Hopefully they've caught some, they've caught some good fish. And um, yeah, let's catch some fish. Okay, so we're gonna have our first cast, but I definitely think we're gonna catch something in the first cast. So, Tom, Dad, this thing's broken. Bro. Oh, it's broken. Okay, ready? Dad's gonna take my <laughs> ready? Ready? One, two, three, go. Good cast, Dad. <laughs> Good cast, Keith. I just caught a tree with a brand new, brand new thing. So, but yes, Tom's into a fish. Yay! Lovely Tom. And I'm into a tree. Massive, eh? Massive. Nice Tom. That's what I do. How's it? I'm Thomas Ditchfield and... Hello, my name's Keaton Ditchfield and welcome to uh, Tip Top Fishing. I'm a bit too slow. Yay! Got one as well. Double up! We good, Paul? <laughs> Yo! I just got two bites on one cast and I missed them all. It's about being fast enough. Oh, I'm jigging for bass here, watch. Just jigging for bass. How's that? <laughs> just jigging for bass. I just literally let my thing sink. Bring it up, let it sink, bring it up. I got a goodie. This is a goodie here. This is so... It's very... Anna yo moor. I don't like treble hooks because they're more likely to hook you versus hooking other things. So, there you go. Little bass. So we have to put them, we have to murder this one because of nature conservation says we have to because there are too many bass in this dam and they are trying to conserve uh, natural species. So, species that belong here. So this is going to become food. Let's show you the lure that I'm using. It's a sensation little lipless crankbait. Fantastic little thing, it just sinks like a brick. But as it sinks, that's when the bass are biting it. So you swim it a bit, it does this little lovely little action, and then it then as you stop and it sinks, the bass hit it. Quite exciting stuff. So micro fishing next next challenge, we've got a little jerk bait also from Sensation. I'm quite a fan of their stuff because they are they're quite um, well priced and they're decent quality almost got a bass there it's, it's a, an aggressive one on its nest there you go got it <laughs> lucky oh it's getting beaten up by the kirper just a bass but this this uh, kirper is beating him up trying to protect their babies. There you go. Now to grab him with, without getting blixen by those treble hooks which I'm not a huge fan of. So, another bass which is going to get chowed. Um, we taking some home and then there's also some laborers that look after the animals here. 
and they love bass so they're going to enjoy this so these are two of my locals are you okay to be on tip top of course yes <laughs> this is grant and this is nick they're like family except not blood but they're family it's one of those things so grant said now now what do you say when you grew when you were a kid like little yeah you just could caught Cooper. It's pretty much the it's easiest fish to catch. You could hardly ever catch a bass here. But. but now, this is the first one you've seen in a long time, eh? This Cooper is yeah. in front of us. First one I saw now was the one you pointed out. <laughs> yep. So, and then there are about two million bass in this little bay alone. So, shows you how much they've destroyed the ecosystem. So, that's why we are murdering them, but at the same time, we're feeding, feeding people. So, I don't feel so bad about that. So now Tom and I are both big cat poppering. Oh, I just got a bite there and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I missed him. Shit. Like, what is that? What is that? There he is, look. That means nothing. And you had a child. It's a piece of wood. Very close, but it's exactly where I want to be. There, yes, bobble on. That's a fight, eh? That's a striking. Good one, dude. Pointed at me, that's a kicker with me. Yeah! I love the sound of the braid coming off the reel. It's not a bad one. It's so amazing how this thing works. Yeah, that's if fascinating. You, if you didn't show me it actually working on like videos on or pictures or whatever... You wouldn't have believed it. And they said you catch barbel on a lure like this, I'd say no. True. It doesn't work. And he hit a few times. Yeah. Amazing. Great one, man. You're gonna spray me with mud. Evolution has done its thing with this fish. Look at that on a big cat popper. The smallest one they've got, orange and then white on the inside. I'll show you the other side, like the, the other side of the lure. It's the strangest thing, but it works. I targeted underneath where the birds are cooing and where the baby birds would fall. And we've got a nice four kilo barbell. Amazing. So how cool is that? You catch a flipping lacquer sized barbell on a, what my rod's a tiger rod, Tom's rod is gonna be a bass rod and you can catch it on any bass rod. And you use this bloody weird looking lure and you catch a fish. Isn't that lacquer? And you've got a chance of catching a 30 kilo barbell because barbell grow up to that big. I just found one of my new favorite ways of fishing. The first time I caught one was just, was like, um, I was like, ah, oh, it's lacquer, amazing, it's cool that it works, it's almost like it's flipped, but, yeah, this, this is the second one I've caught. On that, just that. A little foamy kind of hard foam thing that just goes, you try to mimic a dead baby bird, or a live baby bird, in the water, and that little pumpkin seed, the white one. Big cat poppers, link is in the description. Now we're going to try to get Tom into one. Pumpkin seed behind the popper is genius because it pulls it back so you can stay in the strike zone for longer. It's just... I love when people think of clever things, don't you? I love it. This is so bloody exciting. It's like popping for bass, but yes, if Thomas catches a fish, I'm going to smack in the face. Mate, um, I think <laughs> you might need new teeth. <laughs> It's like popping for bass, but you've got a chance of catching something that could eat a bass. The biggest bass out there, five kilo bass, could maybe get eaten by a 30 kilo barbel. Some of those 30 kilo barbel you swear could bloody eat a goat. <laughs> yes, Tommy, on boy. Yes, Tommy. Yay! Little bit of top water action. Yes, Tom. I'll tell you what, it's what I do, bruv. It's what I do. It's what you do. What I do. Call it first, then I'll deliver. 
Keep fighting him, Tom. Don't lose him. Bloody exciting, hey? Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Bring in a bag. Please. Sorry? That fights back. It's like a. It's like bringing in a bag that fights back. Tom's got a nice, fun little one. Is this your first Bible, Tom? Uh, I don't think so. Don't think so. Yes, Tom. This is so much fun. Oh, it's cold. Get my lure out the way. <laughs> yeah, pick him higher. Yes, Tom, look at the size of that. It's what I've done. He's what he done. All right. The barbell standing on two legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. There's oh, fish there here. Yes, Tom. Yes, Tom. I don't think I got him hard enough, so I just put him extra size. Oh, it's bad as well. Yeah. I'll oh, give him a I'm ring. With a big cat popper. Big cat popper. Not the catfish. big pap cat popping. Popping each other's catfish. catfish. <laughs> yes, Tom. Bring him in. Okay. There you go. I'm oh. um, Tom, where you are now, I'm sure you're gonna catch a fish. Yeah. If there's a catfish there, you're gonna catch him. There, Tom, I got a bump. See that? There you go. Oh, Jesus. Are you recording? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what the bag? That bag scares the stuff the hell out of us. Another little one. Look at these fish, and it works. Look at that. Yes, now he wants to fight. <laughs> and then open the open the the big box. There you go, fish on. Yes, he's got one. Finally, You have to keep pulling as hard as possible. Otherwise. Yeah, oh, that one's moving like it's going towards. Yeah, the there you have to catch them every now and then. Are you serious? Bruh, these things can live here they twelve hours really if they want. <laughs> This is on a big cat popper, and we've got a medium cat, average. What's oh, it, three and a half kilos? What an adventure. Lacquer, thanks so much for watching. It's currently peeing and crapping everywhere. Wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more content like this, more adventures. There's a mosquito currently trying to bite it. And till next time, tight lines, guys. <laughs>